AI is changing everything from the way we code to the way we think. Here's one thing. AI is not replacing technical skills. It's rather amplifying it. It's making your work easier and faster. But here's the catch. You still truly need to understand how the tech works underneath, what is actually happening, so that you can use AI to its full potential. On this channel, Tech Wallet, I'll show you how I'll use AI to build systems, automate processes, and make your work easier and faster. Not just prompting, but actually using it to its full potential and understanding what is happening under the hood. Here's one misconception people have about AI. People think with AI, there's no need to learn anymore. But let me use this scenario for you to truly understand what I mean here. So let's say you have a self-driving car, right? And yeah, the car knows your route because it has a map. It knows how to park. It knows how to turn left, turn right. It knows how to drive basically. But let's say there's a more function on the road and you get stuck somewhere. Would you be able to drive the car to get your way out of um, this, this situation that you are in at the moment? So that's how AI is. AI isn't just replacing you. It's more of like a, a co-pilot that is aiding you to do technical stuff. It can't make all the decisions. You still need humans to make the decision. This is because AI doesn't, it's not conscious, right? So it doesn't truly understand the way as humans do. So when I was building my trading bot uh, algorithm, there was a mistake with the, uh, because the AI couldn't truly understand um, timing on Binance API. So I had to actually go into it and manually solve it, read the documentation and manually solve it. If I wasn't a technical person, I would just get stuck and the project would be dead and gone. So that's what I'm saying. Use AI in your daily work, in your daily routine, but still you need to be technical enough. You need to know how to code or simply understand the code. You need to learn how to debug and you need system design because you can't rely on AI to make decisions for you. You can't use AI to make complete decisions. You need humans who truly understand how the projects work to make decisions because they don't think the way humans do. So the conclusion is, use AI as your co-pilot, but still understand the basics. Be technical enough to understand how things work underneath. All right, so let me get into how I actually use AI. So let's say um, I want to create a software, right? I want to create an app or a trading mode, a website, or anything in general. The first thing I do is, let's say, open um, an AI, let's say, chat GPT. And just, you know, for the initial draft, just draft anything with AI. So I just start my initial draft with AI, just, you know, a description and general things about the software that I'm making. Then I'll make the AI just look out for you know, similar project out there. So let's say someone developed um, a particular website that I want to model or an app that I want to model. So it just gives me, you know, top 10 best best apps doing this particular thing that I want to do. Then I try and, you know, go into it manually, try and understand how these apps works and stuff. Then um, I actually get into coding, right? So during the code, I mean, AI can generate, you know, now with, um, tools like cloud code it, it can actually code like from the basic like let's say from basic coding to let's say to what um, a junior developer can do so yeah that was basically what cloud code can do so yeah i actually use cloud code to you know generate the um, basic you know coding and stuff <clears throat> but here's one thing ai can actually make lots of mistakes during the code so let's say you give it an instruction to do one particular tax it, it technically understands it, but doesn't, um, let's say it doesn't have the best optimization for it, right? So here's where the engineering comes in. We as engineers have to understand which one is best suited for the particular type that we want to do. It doesn't understand trade-offs. So that's why system design is actually very needed here in terms of scalability, in terms of um, what to choose over the other. You as an engineer need to really understand um, these trade-offs in order to make <clears throat> decisions. Sometimes you could have um, a project that, let's say you created with AI, but you need to test it. Some of the tests that AI can um, generate for you to test with might pass the test case since, let's say, 
because I let's say the AI generated your code and you have this set of test cases that the AI itself generated. It will obviously pass those test cases. But as human, you can actually reason and um, create new test cases for the AI to, um, to actually work with. And you can find some flaws in these test cases. So that's when um, humans are also come in, in terms of finding test cases that can pass. Because let, let's, make, let's be real, you are creating apps that millions of people will be using. And you don't want them to you know come back with issues to come back with error so you have to test it several times with every possible test case that will come and ai could generate best possible test cases but as human you have to also think and understand how because we understand how like each other think so we can develop like the best test cases to actually work with this ai so in conclusion you can start with um, AI, in, you know, understanding the whole project to find similar stuff. You can start with creating um, the basic code with AI. But in terms of, you know, the architecture of your app, in terms of trade-off scalability, you as human come in. In terms of making, um, you know, debugging, in terms of testing your case, testing your project with edge cases, you as a human beings come in. Um, in order to make you know decisions, in order to test your code, to pass all possible test cases that will be used by thousands and potentially millions of people. All right. So if you want to know more into the technical depth of um, stuff that you need to know in order to um, optimize AI to its full potential, in order to add value um, as a software engineer, stick with me here. And in the next video, I'm gonna dive deep into the technical stuff that you need to understand in order to use AI to its full potential. I also go on about, you know, the future of AI because AI will definitely affect jobs. It will definitely affect how, you know, companies recruit for um, software engineers. So in the next video, I'm gonna dive deep into these two topics, into the technical things that you need to really understand. We dive deeper into it and, you know, the future of AI and um, how these companies are gonna recruit and how to, you know, just, how to prepare as a software engineer to truly um, take advantage of AI and truly be um, best fit for every software engineer role. So if you are someone who is eager to um, learn more about AI, this channel is for you. With Tech Wallet, we'll be building in public, we'll be learning in public. We'll be learning how to you know, merge AI with real engineering so that we could increase productivity and you know um, enhance you know efficiency in our in completing tasks so if you are someone like this subscribe to this channel hit the like button and turn off your post notifications so that you can get up-to-date information on what's happening with ai and how you can evolve and learn how to use ai in your daily activities thank you